Hi, I'm Heather Wendland from Polka Real Estate Group, and I'm here interviewing my client, Megan Pomeroy, who happens to also be my sister. I helped represent her during her sale of her condo, and we're in escrow for a purchase currently right now. Um, and I'm here just to really interview her about her experience in today's market, working with a real estate agent, and also just in general, this crazy market from a buyer and seller experience, which I think a lot of people will benefit from hearing from. So with that note, um, Megan, if you wanna just kinda introduce who you are really briefly and how long have you been at this whole real estate process thinking about it and I what motivated you? Well, I started kinda of tumbling around my mind in about February. Mm -hmm. And I think between February when I started to look and we actually listed mm -hmm. in May, mm -hmm. Pretty sure prices went up in my price point, probably fifty thousand yeah. dollars between that time. That sounds about right. Uh huh. Yeah. So on the sales side, it obviously wasn't hard to find a buyer. No. But what was really helpful, and I, your team brought a lot to to help, is that your vendors. So yeah, yeah. the people that you all contract yep. with and you all have relationships with, mm -hmm. like even the plumber, the cleaners, mm -hmm. the window mm -hmm. washer. All these tiny little yeah. things that you don't necessarily think about, mm -hmm. you're getting a home ready for sale. Mm -hmm. But I mean, really, if you don't do it, you're kind of leaving money on the table, right? Even with just looking at, you know, through clean windows, it makes the place look so much better. I was a little hesitant on the window cleaning, but I'm glad I ended really? up doing it. Really? I didn't know well, that. Well, it's like, really, I know, shouldn't I just wait? Hundred dollars. But yeah. no, I think those little things. And then when I switched, you know, to over to the buyer side, those little things stuck yeah. in my mind. Right. Those are things that I want to see as a buyer. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. So, and then, so the sales side obviously was easy, right? Jiff, we get seven offers in two <laughs> days. We're done. Yes. You know, over asking, no problem. So now, now what do we do? Now how yeah. do I find a place? Mm -hmm. And again, the the big thing that I had working for me was my ability to have a decent down payment yes. in this market yes. from the equity I had, even if just from five years yep. of owning that condo. So that put me in a much better position than a lot of buyers yep. and you know, first time buyers unless they had a, a huge down payment. Right. So I was lucky in that respect. But again, um, you know, being having a team yeah. behind me yeah. for support and then I can ask, ask questions yeah. and go to yeah. and just you know, do you think this is right? Should we do this or should we do that? Mm -hmm. You know, on the buy side was yeah. really helpful. Yeah. You know, you you can't hesitate on the buyer side. No, in not, this market, not in this market. And you bring up a, a good point with our team. We like to we approach a listing and a home sale from the eyes of we're going to do all this work up front to get your home ready, and it's going to be a pain. We're going to hire vendors to fix things up. We're going to get it cleaned. We're going to get it perfect and sparkling. And we're going to get it staged because staging makes a huge difference. Yes. Now, you were occupying that property. So we actually yeah. did a partial staging, yep. which entailed you moving out a bunch of your stuff. Yep. And then, I mean, the stager came and marked everything and said, oh, it was pretty much everything on the walls and, yep. you know, and some furniture pieces. So getting it staged was really imperative and also getting it in that condition where it's clean and sparkly yes. and it looks it looks desirable. This and I was a little hesitant on the staging also as yeah, you know. I know. And I am so yes. glad I did mm -hmm. because those pictures were just dynamite. Yes. I mean, I think you know, people saw the pictures in that listing and were like, "Bam, yep. I want it." Yep, and pictures nowadays are well, in general, in the market, when you're looking at real estate online, you're looking at real estate pictures online. So if you have someone who just walked around, an agent who yeah. walked around and took pictures, or a homeowner who wants it's to sell it. It's not the same. No, you need professional pictures. It needs to look professional in order for you to attract the I highly most, recommend. Yeah, the most I mean, money, isn't your return, your re yeah. ROI on staging like, you know, 10 four. to 20% of a Um, You get, in general, we say four to five times ROI. So it's insane. If you spend $2,000, $2,500 on staging, you're going to make 10, 15, maybe 20 grand more well, than someone who didn't stage. And I'm a believer now Yeah, in that. So. I know. I really, I try to push that one hard. But yeah, you had a really, um, an interesting 
we had with the offers as well. We got a lot of first time home buyers who had five, ten percent down. And then we had some heavy hitters coming in towards the end. Yeah. Three or four were were they're more like, hey, we got thirty percent down yeah. that went well over asking. Yeah. So yeah. it was definitely interesting at the you know, it was definitely interesting from that perspective. Yes. And then on the buy side, we you were like, Hey, let's go. Yeah. And we called that agent and in the coming soon, I called that agent yes. and said, hey, let, we're we're willing to make a strong offer. And because you had that home sale, the 30% down, it just really made your, your offer so attractive. Yep. And of course, you went 25000 over asking. Right. Because you have to. In this case. Right. You have to. And you can't hesitate. Right. You can't so say what that would enough. you say you can't to, hesitate. to people who are going through this? You've just sold your home. You're going and buying right now. What would be your final advice from a client perspective thinking about this whole process in today's market or in general. Definitely do the work up front on the sales side for your for your your house or condo or whatever. Um, and on the buyer side, don't hesitate. Yeah. Find your, you know, your your locations that you want to be, your neighborhoods you want to be, you know, narrow it down. I had 3. Yeah. And kind of whatever popped first in that neighborhood, I was going to snatch it up. Can't hesitate. Great. Well, thanks for being here. Thank you. Thank you and the Coker team. Yay. Um, thanks so much for listening and we'll see you next time.